Good day. Last two weeks, we learned about linear equation in one variable. Today, we are going to learn linear equation in two variables. So what is a linear equation in two variables? In these equations, there are two variables, A and B. This equation also has two variables, x and y. These are linear equations in two variables. But this one is not a linear equation in two variables. Although it has two variables, x and y, but x times y is not a linear term. So in the equation where the variables are multiplied or are cubed or square, they are not linear equations. It is not uncommon to find linear equation in two variables in our daily lives. For example, let's say you bring 50 ringgit to buy carrots and tomatoes. An organic carrot is one ringgit each. And for organic tomatoes is two ringgit each. So how many carrots and tomatoes can we buy with 50 ringgit? If we use x to represent carrots and y to represent tomatoes, then we can write down this equation. x plus 2y is equal to 50. If you buy 30 carrots, you can still buy 10 tomatoes. 30 carrots is 30 ringgit. For tomatoes, 2 times 10 we get 20. Total is 50. If you buy 20 carrots, you can still buy 15 tomatoes. 20 carrots is 20 ringgit. For tomatoes, 2 times 15, we get 30. Total is also 50 ringgit. If you buy 10 carrots, you can still buy 20 tomatoes. 10 carrots is 10 ringgit. For tomatoes, 2 times 20, we get 40 total is 50. Note that in linear equation in two variables, we can have many answers, different sets or pairs of answers. For example, 30 carrots and 10 tomatoes, or 20 carrots and 15 tomatoes, or 10 carrots and 20 tomatoes and so on. This is unlike linear equation in one variable, where we can have only one answer. Take this as an example. A tomato cost 2 ringgit each. How many tomatoes can we buy with 50 ringgit? In this case, we are going to write down this linear equation with one variable. 2y is equal to 50 and y is 25. We can buy 25 tomatoes with 50 ringgit. Here we have only one answer. On the other hand, in linear equation in two variables, we can have many pairs or sets of answers. However, when one variable takes on one value, then we can ascertain or determine the value of another variable. Let's look at this equation. 3x plus 8y is equal to 14. If x take up a value, let's say x is 2 here, then we can ascertain the value of y. If x is 2, we will substitute 2 for x in the equation and we get 3 times 2 plus 8y is equal to 14. We move 6 to the right hand side. 14 minus 6 is 8. Multiply by 8 we move over becomes divided by 8. We have y is equal to 1. So when x is 2, y is 1. How about when x is 0? 
we substitute 0 for x in the equation. And we get 8y is equal to 14. Multiply by 8 when moved to the other side becomes divided by 8. 14 divided by 8 is 1.75. So when x is 0, y is 1.75.